I, I need Dr. Legler to uh, address the Sixers because I'm out of my mind right now. I, I look at the options. I look at where they're at. And full disclosure, I, uh, I sent a note to someone very high up there saying that they should consult with Tim Legler as they build out a roster. Because no one, uh, first of all, you know I feel about uh, how you look at players and evaluate players. And when you need to put an entire roster around Embiid and Maxi, you've seen everybody in this league over and over and over again. So I, I said, you know what? I, I think you should call Legs. I, I don't have they called you yet. They have not called me yet, man. They've not uh, right, called well, me yet. I, I think that's. Uh, I think that better come. Uh, but l- let's discuss it. If you are. Daryl Morey, how do you approach this thing, right? Uh, it, Paul George isn't as attractive on a sign and trade. He wants to get, he wants to, to sign and then get traded. You have, what are your options? You, we don't know what's going to happen with Ananobi. You also have Brandon Ingram's names now coming up a lot. Where are you looking? Because right now, it's pretty dire. Yeah, man. So, you know, you're looking at the list, you know, you know, Clay Thompson would be a guy that's kind of in the mix there. You got DeMar DeRozan's name coming up. Paul George has been the most prevalent name. I just spent a lot of time over the last two days talking about Paul George, uh, specifically as he relates to coming to Philadelphia. Um, and my view on that is he, first of all, who knows where his mind is at? You, you got to be different to take on that. To take on coming to to Philadelphia, you just do. You got to be so thick skinned and tough, and so sure of yourself. And and understand, look, you're not coming in to necessarily be the savior, but you got a a guy like with that kind of scoring capability. You're coming in to hey, this is the piece we're missing. We're finally free of the Tobias Harris contract. We're going to upgrade at that spot, and this is a guy that can, for stretches, can carry you offensively. He can get his own. He's a great catch-and-shoot guy. Sixers were one of the worst in the league last year on catch-and-shoot threes. He shot at like a 46% clip on that. So you're talking about playing off Maxi and Embiid in that way. Perfect as as an off-the-ball guy, but you can also, if Embiid's out or Embiid's on the bench or Maxi's out of the game, Paul George is your primary offensive player at a much higher level than anybody else they've had in that spot. So that makes a lot of sense. I'm talking about between the ears. Is he have the the skin thick enough to come in? And a, this is a guy that's had some struggles in the postseason, and he's been in cities where they were very forgiving about that. Yeah, Indianapolis, and, Oklahoma, and, Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City. I mean, even even the Clippers. You're, yeah. you're living. In, it's L.A., but you're like you're always considered the JV for the Lakers. Like you're not getting near the scrutiny there. So. His whole career has been kind of like that. Like he's had some real head scratchers when, when they needed him. And he he's never really been, you know, dealt with too harshly in that regard. Even the one year he really struggled and like really came up small when they needed him was in the bubble. So there was not even anybody in the building like watching the game. So now I'm thinking, okay, well, he comes to Philadelphia and can you handle, can you handle like what comes your way if you struggle? In big spots when they need when they need you, it's it's not for everybody, man. And so that's that's my question: Would he want to do that? And we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out that, that I, you know I read a couple of days ago like there's there's a decent chance he opts in and and then requests a trade like immediately, like by this weekend potentially. So this could happen very fast with Paul George. Um, we got to wait and see. Look, there's no doubt he's a massive upgrade in talent for the Sixers. It, my only question would be, you know, and you've had too many guys <laughs> running through that that spot like Harden and Simmons that just weren't cut out for the pressure of postseason basketball in Philadelphia and as as badly as that team wants a championship, as that city wants a championship. Um, I, mean, I mean, Legs, real quick, to your point, he tweeted out, he's been watching film of Stephen A. Smith and others, Shannon Sharp, so he could become a better podcaster. Now, how do you think that flies when he shoots two for thirteen? Yeah, that's like saying so. The state, what's the statement? So, as a in terms of a clutch playoff performer, he's a great podcaster. Is that what you want? Is that what you want to hear? People, I mean, like, like think about like to your point about Philadelphia. The, like the last thing that you want to hear from like your savior, and he is 
because yeah. he's coming in to, yeah. to then take you from here to here. And the last thing you want to hear is, hey, I'm going to become a better podcaster, a better investor, a better rapper, a better uh, movie maker. Like, nobody wants to hear it. Just cut somebody come in and want to play basketball in Philadelphia and lead them to a title like Moses Malone did yeah. in 1983. You know, you know what I've always said repeatedly, and I said this on the air yesterday, what, what I've said about Philadelphia. Look, I played college basketball there. I didn't play professional sports there, but I, obviously I, I've been there a long time. I know the city. I know the people. I know what it's like there, right? Um, I said this. All they want, all they want, Philadelphia sports fans, is they want you to hurt as much when you lose as they do. That's all they want. They, they want you to lose sleep over it. Because it means that much to you to win, right? That's all they want. Play hard and have it hurt when you lose. They can forgive bad shooting nights in big spots. They can. What they can't forgive, if, forgive is if you look afraid. Or if you look like it doesn't ma bother you as much as it bothers them, right? So, like, is Paul George, like, is he that hungry and desperate? And the reason he would pick Philly is... I want a championship so badly, and that's the place to go because of the talent they have at the top of the roster, and I think I could be the perfect piece to fill that out, and I want to help bring a championship to a great basketball city, man, and I am hungry for it. Like, that's what you want to hear, and I don't know, I don't know that that's pumping through his veins. We all silly like the mayor. 